guys. I'm going to check on my coworker. Uh, I came up here Monday and he had um, a surgery to try to reduce some of the swelling on his brain. Um, another coworker came up here yesterday and said there was some movement. He um, opened his eyes a little bit, so I'm gonna see if he gonna open his eyes for me today. If not, I'm gonna have to fuss at him. So, let's go see if I can find a room. Last time I got lost, but this time I remember coming this way, but I don't know where I'm going. Let's see, I came, I guess I got on these elevators. The ninth floor, these will take me there? Huh? The ninth floor? He's been in, sorry I'm so dark, comatose state since last Wednesday. And, uh, yeah, it's not looking good for him. No, um, yeah, very unresponsive to everything. So, they're going to have to, I guess, consider making a decision on what to do next. So, y'all keep me and my co-workers and his family in your prayers because I'm sure that's a hard decision. I just pray that he do something so that they won't, you know, unhook him because right now he's on a um he's on a ventilator so yeah that sucks but if it's god's will let it be done and give everybody that's gonna suffer the strength to get through it and i'll talk to y'all when i come back get some light how you doing so yeah i'm just leaving the hospital and he um, is in the same state. He it, accident, the aneurysm or the stroke happened last Wednesday. Um, well, maybe last Tuesday was the last time anybody seen him um, coherent. He went in the hospital last um, last Wednesday, and he been in the kind of sort of the state that he in now since last Wednesday. They did surgery on him Monday to try to release some of the pressure on his brain, some of the fluid on his brain. And yeah, so his family is gonna have to, I guess, eventually make a decision on what they wanna do with him. He is on a breathing, um, he is on oxygen. And so, y'all would just please keep everybody in your prayers my the, his co-worker family his family you know just give us the strength give his family the strength to make the decision um if god is able you know it's his will if you're ready if you're ready for him he'll take him if not he'll give him back to us i just pray that um if he give him back to us give him in the state that he can take care of himself because he loves his job and if he couldn't do his job, I don't think that he would be fulfilled. So, um, Lord, if it's your will, just let him have a fulfilled, be able to be fulfilled in his life. Life is short, guys. You got to love and do anything you want to do because ain't nothing guaranteed. Tomorrow ain't guaranteed. Hell, the next hour ain't guaranteed. So, you know, be nice to people. Treat people like you want people to treat you. And, you know. Be a blessing. Don't be mean and evil and hateful. You know, just be a blessing to somebody. 
because life is short. <sighs> All right, guys. I will talk to you later. So I got my nails done. Of course.